Welcome to our virtual job fairs. This demo will provide you with a how-to tutorial on how to navigate our virtual job fairs. Before you get started, please confirm the following. Make sure you are registered as an employer. Make sure you have a login and password. Check that you have an updated web browser. If you have enabled your audio and video on your computer settings and web browser settings, make sure that's on. So for step one, you're gonna to need to log into your employer account. Find the upcoming job fair tab here. You will see enter job fair right here. If you see this button, you're all set for the event. The day of the event, simply click on this button down here. And please note, here you will find our video tutorial and PDF on how to navigate the job fair. Please view it. So you're now in the job fair lobby. Down here is your public chat. And you can use this section to communicate with all job seekers and everyone can see this. You can post announcements about your organization, job openings, or you can invite job seekers to chat with you when you are available. You can go back to this section at any time to make announcements. Our next step is right here. Click on this to view all the job seekers and start a private one-to-one -one chat. So our next step is how to view job seeker resumes and what is the private chat. This is your private chat room with job seekers. Here is the name of the job seekers. Here's the resume of the job seeker and to view the resume, you can click here. Only employers that purchase resume views can see resumes. Here is your chat button. Click here to chat with job seekers one-to-one. -one. It says here that you got a message from a job seeker. The envelope here with the green dot means that you have a job seeker message. Click here to view the message. The green dot next to a name of the job seeker means the person is available now. If you see a gray button, it means that this person is not available. Click chat to chat with the job seeker. You are now chatting one-to-one -one with a job seeker. You will see chat messages here. You can type back and forth. Here is the video and phone icon to start a video interview or phone call through our site. Please note, first chat with job seekers and then ask them if they want to have a video interview. Do not just click on video and expect the job seeker to accept. Sometimes you're going to see a warning notification. This warning notification pops up when our software detects that your computer or web browser has the audio or video settings not enabled. If you are not planning on doing video interviews or phone interviews, ignore this and keep texting job seekers. If you plan on using a phone or video chat, go to your computer settings, find video and microphone and enable them and make sure that they are turned on. Go to your browser and enable your video and audio settings. Give our website lackcareers.com permission to access your video and audio in those settings. Please note that this is a warning about your computer settings. It is not a problem with our software. Our last step is how to do a video interview and or phone call interview. First, you're gonna click on the telephone icon. After you click on the video or telephone icon, you will see a pop-up asking for permission to access your camera or microphone. Click yes, and now you have your video interview ready. If you see this warning message, it means that your computer settings have the camera or microphone off. Go to settings in your computer and turn them on and make sure that you enable them. If you see this message as well, it might mean that your Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Edge browser has the camera or microphone turned off. Click here to see steps on how to enable your web browsing settings. When you are done, refresh your page and click video again. It should now work. If you have questions or want to see answers to our frequently asked questions, please view our PDF in your employer account.